Hello. <laughs> hey guys, welcome to another video. And today we're going to make some basic girl chia pudding with some homemade granola. So if you're interested in that kind of bullshit, keep on watching. So you're going to need organic chia seeds and some cheap AF coconut milk. Make sure it's the $1 kind. And some super unhealthy Aunt Jemima syrup. But hey, at least it has 50% fewer calories. So now here you're going to pour your watered down coconut milk in slow motion, baby. And then you're going to realize that this bowl is too freaking small. So you're going to snap. And then there you have it. It's in a larger bowl. So you're going to want to add one whole cup of chia seeds to two cans of coconut milk. I did not do that. And you will find out later. But no, seriously, add one whole cup of seeds. You're going to then sweeten the pudding by using your maple syrup. You can use the organic stuff or you can use the cheap stuff like how I am. And then you're just going to let it sit just to see if you need to add any more. Hint, you are going to need some more. And then you're going to just throw it in and mix it in. Mix it all together and you know you get the best of both worlds. So now that it's looking a little chunky, it's always it's gonna get even chunkier as it sits in the fridge. So you're going to put it in the fridge and let it sit for a few hours or overnight would be best. And now that it's been the next day, yes, I am still in the same clothes. We are going to check up on our chia pudding and the best way to check is to dip your finger in. And yep, you guessed it. It has the consistency of snot, AKA it is much too runny. So we're just gonna add some more. So this is why I said you gotta use a whole cup. Use a whole cup. I only added three quarters of a cup and now there you go. And now we're going to quickly make our homemade granola. All you need is um, maple syrup, some expired sweetened coconut flakes. It has to be expired guys. It doesn't work the same if it's not expired. You have to use also expired salad topper um, Freaking what are those called pumpkin seeds? No sunflower seeds. Oh my god And then some oatmeal some dry oats some cinnamon and some oh my god. What is that? Oh my god some old pizza that's been there for two days in a row And then we're going to saute our dry ingredients in a non-stick pan it's very important that it's not stick because because um, um once you freaking add the syrup it's gonna get really sticky and it could burn so you gotta really toss it really fast you know just make sure it gets nice incorporated and then while it's hot and sticky you're going to toss the coconut flakes and then while that is cooling off you're going to chop your fruit toppings all i had was banana and apples with me so that's what i'm going to use as my topping so go ahead and use your chef skills and chop your freaking fruit Hi everybody, welcome to my channel, we are going to talk in ASMR to give you all the freaking tingles and I want you to subscribe to my channel so please subscribe to me, hey, 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 please subscribe to me, hey, 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 please subscribe to me, I'm very freaking lonely. My cat just pooped in the next room and it smells like cat pee. This is how it looks like. If I wasn't basic enough before, I definitely am now. So let's give this a taste. Look at that. Excuse me, what? Excuse me, what? Cat hair. The granola is really good. The pudding, still a little bit more runnier than I would like for it to be. But of course, if I let it sit for a few hours, it'll firm up. I cannot deny that this ish tastes good, even though it looks weird. Well, I'm gonna go eat the rest of this now. 
thank you guys for watching another horrible video but if you liked it make sure you subscribe thumbs up the video comment and i'll see you in the next one bye